जब नोबेल पीस प्राइज की बात होती है मेरे हाथ में होता तो मैं इनको बाल पुरस्कार दे देती क्योंकि इनकी ट्वीट ने वो सारी चीजें प्रूव कर दी हैं जो हम लोग हर वक्त सोचते थे watching news epicenter with me maria shakil thousands of farmers have been protesting for over 90 days demanding a repeal of the three farm laws the government has held multiple rounds of talks with them in fact 11 rounds in all but now for the past 48 hours there has been no movement on dialogue we have seen zero discussion on the farm laws and the farmers two episodes the republic day violence and the hashtag #activism from international influencers has derailed the cause of the farmers in fact a campaign to malign india's image is being propelled by digital influencers like pop star riana and climate activist greta thunberg who have clearly no idea about the farm laws and have no context of the tussle between the farmers and the government do they know what is a minimum support price that is the msp crop prices apmcs and welfare schemes the lens is now on them the influencers and not the farmers the farmers are not the beneficiaries of this international activism which is in fact hurting their cause let's be clear this is an attempt at building a narrative in the name of alleged human rights violation the genuine concerns of the farmers have been derailed in this cacophony of hashtags which are spreading misinformation and derailing the possibilities of a dialogue to resolve this impasse so is it time for the farmers to distance themselves from these influencers end their maximalist position and come back to the talking table to find a middle path let me bring in my guests now moini mohan mishra is all india secretary of bhartiya kisan sang we have ambassador parthasarthi joining us as well tom vadakkan bjp spokesperson the liptarian founder and consulting partner perfect relations shama pahamad representing the congress mohini ji uh, in international influencers ke samarthan se aapke aandolan ko fayda hua hai ya nuksan main ye sawal isliye pooch rahi hu kyunki pichle 2 dinon mein kisan ke muddon par ya kisan farm loss par कोई चर्चा ही नहीं हुई है नहीं इसमें फायदा नुकसान का बात तो एक तरफ है किसान का मुद्दे को पहले दिन से भटका जा रहा है और हमारे जो गणतंत्र के ऊपर आक्रमण किया जा रहा है ये लोग कौन है पता नहीं ये लोग क्यों इसमें नाक का अपना घुसाते हैं पहले कनाडा का कोई मंत्री बोल दिया प्रधानमंत्री बोल दिया कोई यूके के कोई नेता बोल दिया अभी ये तीन चार लोग क्या क्या बोल रहे हैं ये लगता है हम पहले दिन अंदाज था कि दो विषय अंदाज था तीन विषय एक तो ये राजनीति के आंदोलन है किसान आंदोलन जैसा नहीं लगता है पहले दिन से आगे पीछे नेता हो रहे हैं आजकल राजनीतिक नेता अलग अलग पर्चा के जबड़ा बना रहे हैं और कोई राष्ट्रीय तत्व भी घुस के जैसे छब्बीस जानवर गणतंत्र दिवस पर जैसे हालत किए अपने देश का जो छवि को खराब करने के लिए अब ये स्पष्ट हो रहा है धीरे धीरे की इनका आका कहीं और बैठा है ये आंदोलन किसान के गो मोहरा बना के इनके आके कहीं बाहर बैठे हैं और शायद वहीं से ये सारी खेल खेल रहे हैं यहाँ के जो लोग बैठे हैं ये शायद उनके स्लीपर सेल से है ऐसा लगता है बहुत खतरा तो है उसमें ये तो किसान आंदोलन आप लोग चला रहे हैं तो आप लोग साफ तौर पे बताते क्यों नहीं कि ये लोग कौन है नहीं 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 हमने तो ये कानून के बारे में सुधार के साथ उसका लागू होने के पक्ष में पहले दिन से है आज भी है आगे भी उस विषय को लेकर चलेंगे ये जो लोग हैं, जो लोग यहाँ बैठे हैं उनको शायद पता नहीं कि उनका आका कहीं और बैठा है और उनको गुमराह करके भारत विरोधी ओके एम्बेसडर पार्थ सारथी डू दीज ट्वीट बाई दो इकोनमिस्ट or part of any intelligentsia but more of influencers given their massive social media following really harming india's india's image or 
is the government of India overreacting? Not at all. The social media is having no impact, and I'll tell you why. But first thing, you know, I'm deeply saddened by what's happening in Punjab. I served during the 1965 conflict in the army in Punjab in a combat unit. And therefore, this sort of makes me really, really sad. Calling our Sikh brothers as Khalistanis, that's disgraceful. I think that's the first thing that should stop. The second, po the second point is that this term is used only in Canada. And thanks to uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, I don't know why we invite him to our country. But uh, the, uh, and uh, certainly today, General Panag, the senior most Sikh officer, I've known and one of our most competent generals who commanded the forces in Ladakh, uh, has, uh, po has pointed out very clearly that the, uh, uh, this is not uh, a good thing. Uh, if you have a g grievances, it should be settled peacefully without resort to violence or co uh, coercion. And he's found, he has been critical hmm. of those demonstrating. This is the most noted Sikh general in the Indian Army, one amongst the most. Uh, let me start with that. Second thing, uh, the external reaction yes. is uh, 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 all this nonsense by the second-rate NGOs uh, lies nowhere because the American government have made their position clear. Yes. And that's what is going to matter throughout the Western world. So anybody who has great hopes on Trudeau and company should forget about it. They have said that this is a, it's a democratic country, that uh, differences should be settled by dialogue, and you would, they would welcome steps which would improve efficiency, yes. which is the opposite to what the demonstrators are saying. Okay. And they want, uh, but they have said, the only thing they have said, and which I agree with, uh, that it's not right to deny the people access to, the, to Twitter. So uh, the point is, you know, as far as I'm so concerned, has, I'm very sad. Has exactly the Ministry of External Affairs response being really disproportionate because of their statement? Because, of course, it's a departure from the past. Everybody knows that these are private citizens. Should mm. External Affairs Ministry have really issued that statement? Well, the External Affairs Ministry have to respond. Jai Shankar has no choice. When you start going to all sorts of Nobel laureates all over the world, how do you expect the Ministry of External Affairs to keep quiet? But I'd, I'd like to add just two more points. One, I'm coming back that, to you, sir. Uh, I've heard the, the I'm coming back to you. Let me take opening comments from everybody and I'm going to come back to you. Yes. Dilip okay. Cherian, <clears throat> these are people with 100 million followers. We know the entire background now of how there was a, there is a campaign of sort about mobilizing people in various embassies uh, abroad which is part of sending a message that here is a government which is intolerant to dissent. Uh, this kind of reaction that is coming from India against the influencers, we are seeing several filmmakers, uh, you know, actors, cricket celebrities, these are Indian influencers, all of this, them saying that this is a matter which is domestic, it is internal to India, and that any kind of reaction coming from Greta or Rihanna should not be happening. You know, Maria, I have to very respectfully um, take a different line from what Ambassador Parthati just said. We are living in a new world. The kingdom of Facebook has more adherence than any single country in the world. And the same goes for a variety of platforms. This is the new age way of communicating. Those, those of us who remember George Harrison of the Beatles and the concert for Bangladesh know that artists are creatures of dissent. They speak up for those who they perceive. It doesn't matter whether it's real or not, are either marginalized oppressed or under the you know heels of somebody hmm. the if you say that greta thunberg or rihanna have no right to protest then you have to also take away the right of those of us including many of us who stood up for blacks during apartheid in south africa so hmm. and and also uh, don't forget that even if it was with the uh, greatest of humor uh, the German Chancellor Merkel made a 
pretty interesting comment when the Capitol riots were on, saying that my inauguration will be far more boring. Mm -hmm. So the fact is that the numbers matter. The new age world takes hashtags, just like they take punctuation marks, very, very seriously. If you, but I think that the mistake we made was, a, was in government trying to get into the act. Hmm. If the cut and paste artists of Bollywood, hmm. who copied almost the same message and tweeted it, would have been brought into play, then it would have stayed at the level of individuals. Okay, Tom Badakan will respond. Should to not you. have got into a into an issue as a government okay. with activists. Okay, That's Tom Badakan, hundreds of thousands of farmers have been camping on the roads leading to Delhi, but you seem unfazed about the real issue about ending the stalemate. But instead, your leaders are on an overdrive to say that this is a paid campaign. Why even focus on Greta and Rihanna? How do they matter? Maria, this is uh, cutting the sto uh, story very, uh, you know, very narrowly. The fact of the matter is, look at the whole situation. 26 January, a sacrosanct day in the history of the Republic. And what happens? A whole lot of so-called farmers, let's them call them farmers, went into the city, went into the ramparts of the Red Fort, uh, in, they secreted the national flag, put up a flag there. The similar thing happened in Capitol Hill, and they, uh, nobody said, uh, the whole world was staring at it. Now, the point is, if the government keeps quiet, they're damned. And then they'll say, well, you know, uh, the government of the day didn't do. What are they doing today? Today, they're trying to save the citizenry from the acts or missions of this uh, gang who's ready to do a jam But isn't the, the government's responsibility also to create a congenial atmosphere for discussion? How are you creating rounds, congenial Maria, atmosphere for, for rounds, discussion when there are barbed rounds, wires? 500 policemen in the hospital. No, barbed wires, barricades, fortification. Is that leading to talks? Teacher. How will there be talks? I mean, the, uh, the, the prime minister himself has said, I'm a phone call away. Hmm. And if they are not ready, they want to jam the city, they want to tear the city down, pray, what are you supposed to do? And then this uh, school dropout comes out and has a toolkit which has a plan. And what do they do? There's a cut and paste. And coming from where? The Kerala Mahila Congress, they use the handle to use a cut and paste. Okay, that could have been a coincidence, but Maria... If you delete it, there's something wrong somewhere. Why did she delete her own uh, toolkit? What, what are they hiding? The point is, there's a master plan in this whole thing. Somebody but there abroad, has to be some talks. team abroad. Finally, it has team. to be about government looking for a solution, government looking for a way to resolve this entire crisis because the farmers have been protesting and you have to bring them back on the talking table. That's The onus is on you. How will you do that? Shama Mohammed, come in on this. Uh, is the Congress party with those who are running this hashtag, which means clearly that in this cacophony that is being created, the real issue of the farmers have got derailed. Maria, I have only one request. You must give me time because I've been listening to everybody. A couple of points, one of them, is what I feel is that when somebody like uh, these people, you know, artists comment on things, we don't need to respond. We remember what happened to George Floyd. The whole world was talking about it. Many citizens. These people are not heads of states or any ministers. When uh, uh, Trump wanted to build a wall, uh, against Mexico. You know, a lot of singers from UK, all of them commented on this, but they did not react. We, what happened here is the reaction by the Ministry of External Affairs. With that, I do not agree with Ambassador Parthasasi. And also in this reaction, an important point is what the External Affairs Ministry said, that this uh, reformist legislation has been debated and discussed in Parliament. Now, that itself is a big lie. I, I was shocked that when the Ministry of External Affairs is lying like this, it was not debated and discussed in the Rajya Sabha. We all know what happened with the voice vote and there was no division of votes. So there was no discussion. Shama, so we that can discuss the lie. processes now, later. I'm talking about a no, specific no, just, point. Let, let just me, respond let to the point. Just, no, one moment, yeah, one I'm moment. Just respond so then, to my uh, question. Uh, my question uh, is specific and direct. Are you supporting this kind of international activism, which in fact is going against the interest of the farmers? 
My dear Maria, I have no right to say what Rihanna wants to say or what Greta Thunberg. It is their right. It is their democratic right to speak on Twitter or whatever. We don't. We don't even have to look at these people. They are not heads of state. So we, you know, Rahul Ji has clearly said that. Now, when when Justin Trudeau said it last time, I condemned it because I do not like any heads of state talking about our internal matters. I'm against that personally because we are a sovereign republic. Now, Tom Wadakan said, you know, look what is happening here. They have breached the red fort and what happened. in capital hill the red fort is different because delhi police warned amit shah we cannot have this it's going to be dangerous but amit shah went ahead and for this the the root cause is amit shah he should resign and not anybody else and also we have people What like we have people What like let me finish we have people like we have people like we have people like are you allowing right lies against the home minister on the public domain you're not allowing water there are lies in, lies in public domain police what did the home minister Uttarakhan, say and what did he act on let me finish what the police is the bjp rule state said that if any social media forces no any time. national we will and not give you passports and nobody has any time to what both of you are not talking about farmers talking about neither of you have discussed the issue of farmers duty? you're not even saying that the farmers should to come back to the talking table you have not even mentioned that there is a way out what is the solution Maria, is what i'm asking on this something? show why did we why did our heads of state we condemned capital hill prime minister modi did it bl santosh had said on air that if uh, if bernie's i mean if bernie sanders said whatever he said during the delhi riots then he said we will have to take part in the president we have to interfere in the presidential elections of united states that is an open threat by bl santosh he shouldn't have said that so they don't have any authority to say anything this particular government okay we condemn capital let, let me let Let's me start wrapping that. the debate and so, i'm going to give the closing comments to three people on the show who are who are not politicians i'm going to begin with you mr mishra aage ka rasta kya hai dekhiye aage ka rasta seedha hai ये ये पूरा का पूरा आंदोलन राजनीतिक हो चुका है वो पूरा का पूरा आंदोलन कहीं बाहर से उसका मॉनिटरिंग हो रहा है ऐसा दिख रहा है इसलिए ये कानून सिर्फ धान गेहूं किसान के लिए नहीं है पंजाब हरियाणा किसान के लिए नहीं है ये देश भर में एक एग्रो क्लाइमेटिक जोन में बैठे हुए छियालीस हजार प्रकार की खेती करने वाले किसान के लिए है सरकार इसको लागू करे सुप्रीम कोर्ट उसको अनुमति दे लागू करने के लिए अगर उसमें कुछ गड़बड़ होता है तो आगे हम उसको स्कूटिनाइज करेंगे यहीं से सरकार उसका काम शुरू करना चाहिए इसमें और कोई बात होने का कोई संभावना नहीं है एम्बेसडर पार्था सारथी इफ दे आर मोर वॉइसेस इन फ्यूचर सिमिलर नेचर नॉट व्हाट द यूएस स्टेट डिपार्टमेंट हैज सेड दैट देयर इज नीड फॉर डायलॉग एंड दे आर नॉट गेटिंग इनटू आवर बिजनेस देन हाउ शुड द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एट लार्ज रिस्पॉन्ड should it be the the way external affairs ministry said that these are vested interest groups trying to you know enforce their agenda on these protests maria you are missing one basic point hmm. it is not the farmers all across india farmers from the southern states from west bengal from maharashtra from gujarat nobody is interested they are quite happy with the legislation the other point i i i, I want to make is if you can't settle it by talk, government talking then why don't you agree to the supreme court uh, 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 nominating a series a set of experts to come out with a solution which the court will may or may not endorse why are you running away from judi the judiciary that's been on offer hmm. okay that's that's a valid point uh, the lecturer i'll give you the final words you know this is clearly rent a cause activism that is happening uh while i respect their views on multiple subject greta is a respected uh climate right activist she is well within her rights but the question is in, on a subject which has got a uh, support of just about every economist agriculture scientist in the country who are not seen as pro government they are anti establishment people they are talking about reforms they are batting for these reforms for them to say that these reforms are the need of the hour much needed much must be implemented immediately and then people like them commenting what is going to be the way forward then maria the last thing we want is these protests to become a matter of human rights protest so let's leave that aside as far as your point about economists support uh, who are not establishment 
economists, there are an even number of voices on the other side, and there's no getting away from it. As far as talks are concerned, I think talks are necessary, but I think talks without the precondition that we will not repeal the laws. This is a government with a majority. Have the talks and bring back the laws. What's the big deal? I would say that that would be the smart thing to do to get rid of this impasse. Hmm. Because I still have one minute. I'll give 30 seconds also to Shama Mohammed and then uh, Tom Barakan as well. Shama. Maria, I want what you asked what to do about the farmers. First, we should stop these barbed wires. We should stop. They are not allowing water to reach them. They can't do the langar anymore. It's something very important. There are barbed wires. There are concrete walls. There are spikes. Uttarakhand police today saying that we will not give passports to those who write anti-social things on social media. Bihar police saying that those who protest, we will not give them jobs. I mean, what is happening in my country? Talk to the farmers. You know, Maria, more than 100 farmers have died. Nobody talks about that. Not a single word of condemn, uh, you know, Tom condolence Wadakan? from from the from the from Tom Wadakan or How his party. The what about what about a three-time national award winner calling our farmers terrorists? Why has nobody said a word from the Bharatiya Janata Party? Isn't she also important to this country? She's won three times the national award. Hmm. There is no discussion okay, of that. Tom. Our Annadatas are treated like terrorists every day. Why don't you talk to them? Okay. Tom more than 100 have died, Tom. Uh, the point here is, hmm. on their own manifesto, hmm. they have asked for these reforms. Oh, and now they are playing, they said, uh, uh, so they talk Prime about Minister the reforms, they set it on fire, and they MSP pretend to be fi the fire brigade. Why I'm sorry, this is double-faced. This is double-faced. Reforms is okay for so them. But if we do the reform, it's bad. The sky is going to fall down. And then the Priyanka Gandhis and the Rahul Gandhis cannot become prime ministers. So let the dynasty believe and struggle for it. Farmers are our people. We will walk that extra mile for them. Remove the barbed wire. All right. Remove thank you so much for joining us. Shama Mohammad, Dilip Cherian, Tom Barakkan, G. Parthasarthi, and Mohini Mohan Mishra. The entire debate on news18.com. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching.